climbing up to the top of uh, Hawk Hill. This is Konzelman Road. To the left is San Francisco, across the water there, and the Golden Gate Bridge. Get a better shot of it here in a second. Once we bend these corners, this is the second part of the climb. I'm taking my sweet ass time just enjoying the view. So peaceful. Um, they've changed the the traffic flow on this since I've last been here. It used to be two ways on this roadway. It still is two ways on this road, but this is the bottom half of this hill or the climb uh, is only a one way now. So it makes it so much nicer on a bike. So many less cars. Might be the time of day too. It's only 9 a.m. so. early we met up for coffee outside with a bunch of people and it's a good way to start the morning so you can go to the top of this thing and turn around like that guy just did or you can go down the backside, which I filmed a video or two of that in the past. I'm gonna film going down the backside again. It's just so epic. It's a one way. And looking at the ocean, it's great. Let's see. Can you see SF? Look at that. another view it's just a great thing to look at when you're climbing you know it's beautiful I used to ride this back when I had a when I first got into road bikes, I had an old like a 93 Titanium Greg Le Mans. But that bike was short lived. I had it for about eight months to a year, and then the seat stay snapped on it. And then I was blessed, got a hand me down giant TCR used to ride this on the way out to Mount Tam a lot it's kind of like a little extra credit on the way if you live in San Francisco you already know all this but you can be depending on where in the city you live where I used to live it was 15 minutes from my door to the start of the Golden Gate Bridge so in about a half hour you can be at your door just finishing your breakfast or coffee and on this climb looking at the city you can do this ride in about an hour to an hour and a half depending on how fast you want to go uh, it's like between uh, 15 and 25 miles, depending on what you add onto it over here. Back in your house, showered before, uh, before most people are awake. You can be on your way to work. I used to do that a couple times a week. 
I always wish my my work had a shower so I, I wouldn't have to go back home this is the top here get a quick look at it Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Got both bridges, got the Bay Bridge back there, Golden Gate. San Francisco. Anyways, let's go descend down this, the back side here. me like a ninja so you can go a little higher up there um, film hotline Jeff best popped out of that tunnel right there actually I don't know it might have been this tunnel over here but watch the rough cut we start at the top of this hill up here Also, uh, Big Speed Freestyle video with Matt Reyes. A couple videos over here. Yeah, but this is the back way. Let's see the 18% steepness. It's like a fucking roller coaster. Look at this shit, it's fucking epic! hard to it's hard to top that descent for me it's like a fucking roller coaster I love it um, if I remember I will tag I'll put the video up where I did that same descent on a BMX bike with no brakes right up in here on the top check that video out uh, I crashed at the end of the video <laughs> on that last turn. I couldn't make the turn, but I was using my foot in the back tire to slow down, but 
it, I, I don't know if I would do that still. That's pretty comfortable on the bike. I'm with the MX bike with no brakes. Down here is the headlands. I mean, we're in the headlands, but you can see uh, Miwok over there. Might go ride that. There's Bonita Lighthouse over here to the left. I think it's Bonita. <laughs> I think it's Bonita. I don't know. descending just a little bit nothing crazy 